Thank you for watching the video on Autoflow, learning a better training set for optical flow. A typical training pipeline for optical flow starts with a static data set, often flying chairs. After a model is trained on flying chairs, it is evaluated on a target data set, say Centel. There may be a lot of trial and error to adjust the model for good performance on the target data set. All top performing models currently follow this pipeline to pre-train models. Although the flying chairs dataset works well, there are many important and interesting questions left unanswered. For example, how realistic should the rendering be? What makes flying chairs work so well? Is it because flying chairs carefully matches the motion statistics of Centel? Or is it because flying chairs contains a lot of thin structures and fine motion details? In this paper, we ask, what is the objective for rendering training data? Our answer is, to optimize the performance of a model on a target dataset. Specifically, we introduce Autoflow, which jointly renders data and trains a model to optimize the model's performance on the target dataset. The dataset is generated according to hyperparameters lambda, lambda, and the model parameter theta are jointly optimized for target performance. Another question we consider is how simple can the rendering be? To answer this question, we start from a very simple 2D rendering pipeline, which uses a layered approach. We first sample a natural image as the background, then sample an optical flow and forward warp the background image. We then sample another image, its motion and shape, and composite with the background. We can repeat the process to add more foreground objects. To model the foreground shapes, we start with random polygons and have the options to add holes, make edges smooth, and add motion blur. To model motion, we have the option to add affine transformations, perspective transformations, and a more flexible bilinear grid warp, or a combination of all three effects. For visual appearances, we model motion blur and fog effects. For motion blur, we apply blur to each layer. Here are some samples for image pairs and their optical flow. Please check our project webpage for more visual examples. Here are some samples from flying chairs for comparison. We compare autoflow with flying chairs and pre-training raft and PWCNF from scratch. Autoflow has significant improvements over flying chairs on Centel and Kitty and compares favorably against the flying chairs plus flying things 3D schedule. For these examples, raft trained using autoflow can better recover blurry objects with large motion. There are still examples that are too difficult for raft trained using either dataset. For example, the last row shows both networks struggle on input images with extreme dark lighting. We fine-tune the model pre-trained by Autoflow and observe consistent improvements on the public's Centel Final and Kitty benchmarks over the ones pre-trained by Flying Chairs and Flying Things 3D. To analyze what matters, we performed an ablation study. Visual effects such as blur and fog are important for Centel Final and Kitty. The flexible bilinear grid warp is important for Centel and Kitty as well. Regarding the number of foreground objects, using only the background leads to significant performance loss. Using three or four foreground objects tends to work best for Centel, while using more objects, such as five, does not provide any additional gains. Another interesting observation we have is that, surprisingly, the motion histogram of the learned dataset doesn't match that of Centel. In fact, even after augmentation, autoflow undersamples low-range motion. Our intuition for this phenomenon is that when looking to optimize performance, small motion does not contribute much to the final error. One surprising observation is that autoflow performs well even when generating as few as four training examples. In fact, a network trained on four autoflow examples with augmentation performs as well as a network trained on more than 22,000 of flying chair images with augmentation. One possible concern is whether Autoflow can generalize across different target datasets. We found that Autoflow trained for Centel Final generalizes well to Kitty and vice versa. In summary, we have made the following contributions. First, we have formulated learning to render training data as joint data rendering and model training to optimize the performance on a target dataset. Second, we have found that a simple 2D rendering pipeline can provide state-of-the-art pre-training and fine-tuning results. Third, through an ablation study, we have found what components are important, such as blur, fog, and non-rigid motion. Finally, our code and data will be available at autoflow-google.github.io.